fuel oil injection pump inspection and maintenance. Remove the fuel oil injection pump from the engine and consult the manual. Secure the fuel oil injection pump in the vise with the tappet facing upward. Use a gear puller or the like to press and hold the tappet and remove the retaining pin with the bolt. Be careful that the tappet roller does not pop out due to the force of the spring. Remove the components of the tappet assembly in the following order. Plate, lower spring seat, spring, plunger, and upper spring seat. Remove the control sleeve and the control rack. Release the injection pump from the vise. Turn the pump upside down and refasten it in the vise. Put matching marks on the delivery valve holder and the flange. Remove the mounting bolt and remove the delivery valve assembly. Remove the positioning screw. Remove the deflector. Remove the injection pump from the vise. Hold the plunger barrel by hand and remove it from the main body. If the plunger barrel does not come out, place a piece of wood on its opposite end and tap the wood lightly with the hammer to push out the plunger barrel. When disassembling components, classify them into groups depending on the pumps from which they come. Be sure not to mix the components of one cylinder with components from another cylinder. Wash and air blow all parts. Inspect the plunger, plunger barrel, and deflector for any signs of corrosion. Replace any excessively corroded component with the new one. Now, we will reassemble the fuel oil injection pump. To reassemble the fuel oil injection pump, start by making sure that all the parts are organized. Remember to replace all O-rings and backup rings. Attach the O-ring and backup rings to the plunger barrel and apply grease. Hold the pump body with its delivery valve side upwards and secure it in a vise. Align the barrel positioning bolt hole on the pump body with the hole on the barrel. Insert the barrel into the pump body. Mount the barrel positioning bolt. Align the delivery valve assembly dowel and mount the assembly on the pump body. Apply anti-abrasion paste on the thread and seat surface of each of the bolts. Tighten the bolts evenly in diagonal order with the prescribed torque. Mount the deflector. Release the pump body from the vise. Turn the pump body upside down and fasten it in the vise again. Apply grease to the gear teeth of the control rack on the inner surface of the control sleeve. Align the first teeth on the rack and sleeve, starting from zero millimeters on the rack, and assemble them.
apply the upper spring seat, plunger, spring, lower spring seat in this order. To mount the plunger, the Z mark in the lower part must be in the opposite direction to the rock. Attach the plate and tap it assembly. Use a gear puller or the like to press and hold the tappet and mount the holding pin. Use caution not to damage the tappet or roller during reassembly. When completing the reassembly, confirm that the rack moves smoothly and that the zero point is correct.